it's very uh, nice that uh, Robert Yeoman's been able to come down. He's had an illustrious career as a cinematographer. I think most of you know that he's shot all the Wes Anderson films, uh, all the live action films, and he's about to go to Germany uh, and shoot the next Wes Anderson film. Um, he's worked with many other directors, William Friedkin on Rampage, Kevin Smith on Dogma. He shot Bridesmaids, he shot a lot of comedies. Uh, one, uh, one of my favorites, The Squid and the Whale, and uh, he, he shot uh, uh, Drugstore Cowboy uh, for Gus Van Zandt. So, um, you know, he's someone who has really developed his craft, and uh, I know there are many people out there that are interested in becoming cinematographers. Um, how did you get started? I, I mean, you went to... A, Grew up in the suburbs of Chicago. Yes, um, I grew up in the suburbs of Chicago, and I always loved movies, but I never dreamed that I'd ever end up working on them. And I went to college, not really knowing what I wanted to do, and kind of kicked around and got involved in a film uh, society at college. So I decided to go to film school because I knew nothing about films or how to make them, and. I went to USC where I met Dr. Richard Hadley, <laughs> and um, then I kicked, got out. I really love cinematography and um, kicked around a long time, you know. Um, I was a PA, I worked on very low budget commercials and gradually kind of got some lucky breaks and made it into features. So in a nutshell, that's kind of what happened. I know in film school uh, you, you yeah. shot some award winning films. Uh, was it? Was it easy making that transition from film school to actually becoming a director of photography? No, it was very difficult. Back then, uh, it was basically, you had to be in the union, and it was impossible to get in the union. And um, I was very fortunate that uh, back in the 80s, the people were making like $1 million, $2 million movies, and the unions really didn't want to have anything to do with them because they were so low budget. So I shot a lot of very low budget films. Um, but just even get to that point was very hard. I worked as a PA. I, I did all kinds of crazy stuff. And how did you uh, get hooked up or meet Wes Anderson? Um, I uh, just moved about three years ago, and cleaning out my old house, I found this letter from Wes, which was very funny. It was handwritten. Um, I don't remember the exact text, but something the effect of, you know, Dear Mr. Yeoman, I just wrote this script called Bottle Rocket. And I would love for you to read it. If you react to it all, please give me a call. Sincerely, Wes Anderson. He wrote his number on it. I just found this letter, which was pretty hilarious. Um, so I met Wes. And uh, uh, even though he was quite several years younger than me, uh, we just immediately kind of hit it off and seemed to gravitate towards the same things. We talked a lot about movies and just we liked certain things, the same things, and disliked other things. And so we immediately kind of hit it off. and. Um, he, you know, I, he asked me if I wanted to do his film, and I said, sure. And I said, who's going to be in it? And they had made a short with Owen Wilson and Luke Wilson. And he said, well, Owen and Luke are going to be in it. And I'm like, Owen and Luke, are you kidding me? Those guys are going to be in your movie? <laughs> and, uh, I mean, at, at that point, they had never made a film. And, uh, you know, of course, the rest is history. I mean, What's the funniest thing Bill Murray's ever said to you on one of uh, your movies? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, let me think about that for a minute. Bill is pretty funny. Um, I, I remember one time, I, I guess you got to kind of know this, but uh, on Rushmore, our, our sound mixer is this Polish guy, uh, Pavel. And uh, we told Bill that it was Pavel's birthday. We had a giant crowd scene, and Bill got up and did a Saturday Night Live routine of, Happy birthday, you little Polish, you Polish guy. It was, it was, it was really funny. And, I know. Bill, he cracks us up all the time. I really admire the uh, quality of the lighting in all of Wes Anderson's films. Um, and it, it, it's very stylized and unique, and but it's still organic and seems realistic to me. Um, can you just elaborate on some, like, what are the primary lighting techniques you guys like to use? Like, what kind of lights? What? Um, it varies from movie to movie, and, and uh, depending on what type of uh, restrictions uh, Wes likes to impose upon me, but um, 
I, I try to make things look very natural, and I think a lot of the style in this movie comes from the production design and the art direction and the wardrobes and uh, choices, and, and I try to make it feel as uh, natural and unlit as I can, so I tend to use a lot of soft light, generally. Um, and in this movie in particular, I use a lot of kind of soft light and just try to give it a very gentle, uh, natural look to it. Well, thank you very much for mm -hmm.